Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the maximum number of coins you can get problem. It is a lead code medium and the number for this is 1561. So in this question we are given with 3n piles of coins of varying size. And uh, we and our friends are, are playing with the piles of coin as follows. So like in each step we can choose any of the 3 piles of the coin. Not, uh, negat uh, not consecutive necessarily. Now Alice will pick the uh, pile with the maximum number of coins and then uh, I will pick that means we will pick the next pile of the maximum number of coins and then Bob will pick the last pile of the uh, like after us and Alice. So Alice will actually take the third largest of the uh, all the piles. So in this manner we have to distribute all the piles and uh, we have to return the maximum number of coins that we can have. So for this I have taken this example, example 1 and tried to explain this. So let's now come to this example. So in this we have a pile of 2 coins, then a pile of 4, then 1, then 2, then 7 and then 8. So first of all we will find the maximum value. So the maximum value is 8. Now we are declaring a frequency array of size 8. Okay. Actually it is 8 plus 1. It is 9 because uh, 0 indexing is also there. So we are taking a pile with uh, n plus 1 size. And then we are populating this entire frequency array by iterating through the array given. And for a particular uh, pile we are just going and simply up updating the frequency. Then the next step will be to choose from the files so we can start choosing from the pile from the backward side of the frequency array suppose uh, the first choice will be of Alice so Alice takes this 8 1 and this will become 0 so it is now uh, you can see Alice takes 8 so it is now our turn so we pick 7 which is the second largest at and a particular instance it will be the largest so it will be 7 and then Bob will pick will go to check 6 is 0 5 is 0 then it will go and pick the last one that is uh, 2 so okay and then uh, second triplet Alice picks the maximum 4 since 4, 1 and 2 were remaining only, then we pick 2 and the Bob picks 1. So there is no given condition that Bob will always pick the maximum or the minimum. So we can give any pile to the uh, Bob. So that's why we have given the minimum piles to the uh, Bob. So in the first triplet we took 7, in the second triplet we took 2. So in this manner the maximum number of coins which we can have is 9, which is also given in the question I hope you understood the logic how we are going to solve so now let's start with the coding section so first of all we need to define the max max equal to 0 initially We are updating the max. <laughs> so the till here we can get the max. You can see if max is smaller than i, we are making i as the max. Then we need to define the frequency element, frequency array. It will be max plus one. Now we are going to iterate on the pile array and then simply populate the frequency array. Otherwise, not otherwise, after this, what we are going to do, we have declared a coin, we have declared a chance.
since uh, our turn will come every third time and that too we are also having the second chance so that's why we are using some variables such as the chance and the turns uh, because uh, when suppose we have a chance to choose the pile and if it is our turn then the piles with the maximum uh, frequency can be chosen and we can detect one chance from that and switch to the next person so that's why we are using this chance and we'll also use another uh, variable known as turn that will be one now int i equal to max so till the time chance is not equal to zero that means we uh, reach zero so what we will do and if frequency of i is greater than zero that means uh, there is a pile of that particular frequency and there is a pile and it is our turn so there is a pile and it is our turn so turn equal equal to 1 so then what we will do we will do turn equal to 1 uh, sorry turn equal to 0 because we have chosen otherwise we do a simply chance minus minus because if it is not our turn turn is now ours it's now our turn and coins are added we need to reduce the frequency because we have used one of the piles in the L section we do a simply I minus minus and then we go down and we have to return the number of coins which we have let's see if it runs ok sample test cases are passing let me just submit it You can see the solution is being accepted. You can also get the, the JavaScript, Python, and C++ code from the this solution. You can see. I will show you just it is this solution. You can go here. I'm sorry. Uh, 